happy Wednesday. I'm Claudine DeSola from Caravan Girl NYC, and we're going to have some toddler yoga this morning. Yes, this is great for the one and a half to four year old toddlers, but it's great for everyone, especially the mamas. We're going to be able to stretch and breathe and just relax a little bit and have some fun. Everyone tuning in, let me know how old your yogis are. Yes, I'd love to know. I'm here from Brooklyn, New York. Where are you tuning in from? Thank you everyone for joining. And thank you Motherhood Maternity for hosting this today. So this will be about 25, 30 minutes of yoga poses, some singing. And today our yoga adventure is going to be going to the library. Yes, we're going on an adventure to the library and we're gonna read some books and then we're gonna do the yoga poses associated with those books. We're gonna have some fun. I see Queens is here. Hi, hola, yes. So to get us started, I have Donovan, our book magician with us today. Yes, say hi to everyone, Donovan. So, we start by getting our wiggles out. So the way we do that is we're gonna count down from five to one. Right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot. So five, four, three, two, one. 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 And now four. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. And three. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. And a big one. Shake it out with the right hand. With the left hand. With the right foot. With the left foot. Wow, that was so fun. Let me know how old your yogis are. Yes, thank you for joining. And thank you, Donovan, for taking us through that first exercise. So we're gonna get started with some breath today. So, taking our arms up in a sun salute and slowly down to the floor. And rolling up and up to a sun salute and down to the floor and rolling up and let's do a little rainbow to the side and a rainbow to the other side and again and this is great for mamas just stretching feel that stretch and enjoy it and to the other side and we're going to come into a back bend where we just take our hands and we put them on our back gently and let's do either a lion roar or maybe a wolf howl, whatever you feel. So I'm gonna roar like a lion first. Roar! Yes! And one more time. Roar! Again, great to just let out all the energy, mamas. Little ones, just have fun with it. One more time. Roar! Excellent! We're gonna come down to the floor. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Let me know how old your yogis are. Yes, love to see everyone. I'm Claudine. I'm here from Brooklyn. We're gonna go through a bunch of yoga poses today. We're gonna come down into easy pose or crisscross applesauce, whatever you're comfortable with. We're gonna start with a namaste. And my namaste I do is have a day, namaste. Have a day, namaste. Have a day, namaste. One more time. Have a day, namaste. Excellent. And I have a breathing ball here. So we're going to use this. When I bring it out, we're going to breathe in. When I bring it in, we're going to breathe out. Ready? In. Big breath in. 
and big breath out. Make it come out of your mouth. Even make noise with your mouth. It's so fun. Ready? In and out. And in and out. So fun. Let's shrug our shoulders up, up to our ears and move them around if we want. This is great moments just to let out all the tension. Bring them up and breathe in if you want and breathe out when you bring them down. And in and out. And we're going to do a little neck roll to the side and to the other side. And again to the other side. And one more time to the other side. Now we're going to come into diamond shape, which is just taking our easy pose just into a diamond in front of us, if you can see. And we're going to come and we're going to look into our curiosity closet or our curiosity chest by leaning over ever so gently. And what do you see in your curiosity closet? I have some things in my curiosity box here. I have a little star, like a, all different colors it lights up. It's so fun. I have a feather when I'm looking down and trying to find out what's in my curiosity chest. I have a unicorn. Yes. And I have some Crayola crayons. What are some of your favorite things that you have? Yes. So exciting. So now I'm going to read our first book, which will take us into some of our yoga poses. But while I do that, you can stretch, bring your legs forward and just stretch over in a bed and then in a little V shape and go stride to side as I read this book here. You might know it. It's called there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. So, and this book is by, illustrated by Stuart Lynch. It's a great book. It's one of my 18 month old Tina Michaels favorite books. So look at her, she has a fly in her tummy. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly to see if it tasted like blueberry pie. The fly buzzed a lot and so like a shot, the old lady came up with a plot, yes. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider to gobble up the fly that was buzzing inside her. Buzz, buzz. The spider was tickly. The spider was prickly. And the lady said, I need another plan quickly. Yes. Yes. There was an old lady who swallowed a duck to get rid of the spider and fly who were stuck. The duck gave a quack. And the plan went off track. And the lady said, Maybe a fluffier snack? There was an old lady. Look at her. What does she have in her tummy? Who swallowed a poodle to do some quick fly duck and spider removal? The duck wasn't sure. And then there was four. Ah, but the lady decided to try just one more. Oh no. What's next in her tummy? There was an old lady. Who swallowed a horse? Look at the horse. Why? To eat up the others, of course. The horse gave a neigh. It did not go her way. And the greedy old lady went pop, hip, hooray. So what did we see in that book? We saw, let's come down to the floor. You should be on the floor still possibly doing your stretches. We're going to go into fly pose. And we're going to give ourselves a zzzz because she swallowed a fly. And this is like a little sound bath they always say with these sounds, if we do them. Great, and then what did she swallow? A spider. So you come into a little squat and you take your hands through and take your ankles, spider. And you can walk your spider. Ah! And if you want to, you can even take your spider and put your head through. Hello! Yes! She swallowed a fly, then a spider, and then a duck, right? 
So let's come into, we slowly go down. We could be on our toes or whatever we're comfortable with. If we're not comfortable on our toes, on our knees. And our hands come up here, our arms come up here. And we go quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Because that's what the duck did in the book, right? He went quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Then there was a dog that she swallowed. So downward dog, hands come to the floor firmly, and then we're gonna come up to our downward dog. And we can run or pedal our feet. The dog loves to go for a run. We can wag our tail. Let me show you to the side what that looks like. Wag our tail, downward dog. We can even do a three-legged dog by picking up one foot. This is great for the three to four-year-olds that might have a downward dog already. Just to start with balancing poses. Up with one leg, up with one leg, excellent. And then what did she swallow? A horse, oh my goodness. So, a horse is leaving our knee down, bringing our other leg forward in a lunge, our arms up and going giddy up, giddy up, or gallop, gallop, or right? What does a horse sound like? Yes, and the other leg. And what does a horse sound like? Nay, nay, yes. So a fly, a spider, a duck, a dog, and a horse. Wow, those were great poses, everyone. Let's give ourselves a little applause. Excellent. So our next book that I found at the library was a favorite, Itsy Bitsy Spider. And this is by Silver Dolphin Books, this one, right? Do we know this song? Should we sing this song? And it goes like this. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! And let us do a big sun. <clears throat> Excellent, a big sun. And the rain came down, right? And washed the spider out, raindrops. And this feels so good. And if you're there with your mama, you could do it gently on your mama or on each other, on a sibling. Dew drops. Coming down. And then, shall we do our spider pose that we just learned? Hands up and through and grab the ankles. Excellent. And that's the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Next, does anybody have a teddy bear? Here's my little bear. Yes. It's Tatum Bear. Yay, say hi. If you have a teddy bear, bring it, or we could give ourselves a teddy bear hug. And we're gonna do a little teddy bear nursery rhyme that I found in this book. See the little teddy bear? And it goes, teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Let's turn around and to the other side. Excellent. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Let's touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, jump up high. Let's jump again. Teddy bear, teddy bear, jump up high. Excellent. Teddy bear, teddy bear, and great for the mama stretch. Touch the sky. Touch the sky. Excellent. Teddy bear, teddy bear, bend down low. And a forward bend. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Yay, where are your toes? So great, that was so fun. And what do we see here? A bee. Do you know that I have a friend and her name is Phoebe the Bee and she's with me today. 
And do you know what she sounds like? She goes, buzz, buzz. Again, like a little internal sound bath. And it goes, buzz, buzz. Yes, like BB the Bee. Yes. And do you know the song for BB the Bee? Here is my beehive. Where are the bees? They're inside where nobody sees. Soon they'll come creeping out of their hive. One, two, three, four, and five. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Excellent. So fun. So next up, we're going to see another little nursery rhyme that we had in here. And that is about the bluebirds. Are you all seeing a lot of bluebirds now? I'm seeing lots of blue jays and bluebirds. Yes. And this rhyme in this book goes, two little bluebirds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. So, I have a little bird here that's going to show us how they flap their wings. A little bluebird. Say hi. Yes. And let's do, we can come down and do bird pose. Or we can stay up and do bird pose. Let's flap our wings. And it's a great stretch. Up. And down, up, and down. And if we're like eagles, we soar, right? Do we soar like an eagle? Excellent birds, so good. And what does he do? Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Excellent flying, so great. And another little nursery rhyme in this particular book is a famous one. Yes. The, this little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy ate vegan roast beef. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee, 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 all the way home. So let's come down. And any expecting moms, you're going to be sitting up to do this one like this. And going back and forth with a little waddle. But for the little ones, they can lay on their back. And this is pig pose. So to the side and to the other side. Yes. Let's wallow like little pigs. Pig pose. And we can give a oink, oink, oink. Yes. Wee, 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 wee. All the way home. And if you're up. You're just going side to side, side to side. And it's great, mamas, for the abs even. It's just a regular abdominal type of exercise too, which is good, yes. So fun, cute. Those are the cutest little pigs, yes. And while I was at the library, I found this book. I don't know if you know these books. They're great. They're Callie's books and they come with the nursery rhymes and the songs. So this time we're gonna hear some music. And the first one is Hey Diddle Diddle. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cat just sat on the table. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see, such small dog that fish ran away with the spoon. Yes, awesome. So we're gonna do cat and cow pose now. Ready? So we're going to put our hands down and tabletop. We're going to go into tabletop pose and we're going to go meow with our back arch like the cat and moo. Our belly sinks a little bit. Moo and up cat. Meow and cow. Excellent. And there was a dog right in that book. So let's do our downward dog. Excellent. And let's come down. And since it jumped over the moon, let's do moon pose. Yes. That was a fun one, right? So fun. And there's another one in that book that I love. And 
We are doing a toddler yoga. It's great for one and a half to four year olds. I see that there's a question about what we're doing. This is a toddler yoga. We're doing some yoga poses. It's great for the mamas um, and the little ones. So we just learned cat pose and cow pose and moon and downward dog. Yes. So next in this book that I loved was this one. And it's Fly Fly the Butterfly. Wow, and we're gonna come down now into our butterfly pose. It's similar to easy pose. We put our feet together and we flutter our wings. Yes, and I have a friend here and she's a monarch butterfly. Yes, fly, 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 butterfly. Let's flutter our wings. Yes, excellent. What color butterfly are you? I'm an orange with black spots. I'm a monarch. Oh, you're yellow with blue. You're a swallowtail. Wow, excellent butterflies. And we can show our butterfly wings too. Let's bring out a wing and come down and bring out the other wing and stretch and come down and flutter. Beautiful butterflies. This is a great way just to learn butterfly pose, I think. So a book that I found when I was at the library, another one is The Frog in the Kitchen Sink. It was written by Jim Post and illustrated by Daniel Vasconcellos. It's so fun, I don't know if you know this one. Look at him, look at the frog. And the funniest part is the last page. Woo, never kiss a frog. Never kiss a frog on a sticky lips, the sticky lips. Never kiss a frog on a sticky lips or you might become a frog. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna become frogs. Just like Freddy the Frog. Rudit, 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 rudit. So let me show you how you do that. You're gonna come down now into a little squat. And if you can't do that, you can always stay on your knees. It's like this. And we do little jumps. Ribbit, ribbit. We can go really high if we want or low. It's really good exercise actually for all the mamas. Yes, ribbit, just like a frog. Yeah, those are great frogs I see. And another little book that I found was Mary Engelbreit's Mother Goose. Do you know this one? It has great, great, great nursery rhymes in it. So, one of the ones that I love is this one. So let's come up and I'm gonna try this one. It's Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over that candlestick. See? Yes, so we're gonna do Jack be nimble, mountain pose. This is mountain pose. You can do it to the side with your hands or like this. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick and candle pose. And you can sway your candle. Yes, excellent. And one of my favorites was Ring around the rosies, a pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. So, we could have a partner pose here. We could hold hands. Ring around the rosies, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. And now, since there's rosies, we're going to come into flower pose. So we put our legs here, similar to butterfly pose or easy pose, up with our arms, down through our legs, out through the side, in flower pose like the roses. Yes, this is a hard pose. So if you're able to do this, excellent. Again,
again, hands up, going through the middle and out to the side. Excellent. Yay, little flowers. Can you smell those roses? Oh, they smell so great. And down. And next is a favorite. It is Hickory Dickory Duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Duck. Tick tock, tick tock. So now we're gonna come down into our clock pose. We're gonna put our legs out in like a little A shape here. And look at this. What do we have? I actually have a super mouse. Yes, he was up in that clock. Yes, can you see it? Yeah, little mouse. So we're gonna come down. Oh, we're gonna go tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Yes. And we're gonna go into our mouse pose which is like child's pose. But for children's yoga, we call this mouse pose. And we're gonna stretch in a mouse pose for the mouse. And we're gonna come back out, and this is gonna be the hard part. This is our last kind of little exercise before we get to rest a little bit. So we're gonna do all of the numbers in the clock. We're gonna do 12, coming out in front, and then bring your legs over a little bit to one. Then to two, then to three, then to four, then to five, six is here in the middle, and then out to the other side. Seven, great for your obliques. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and back where we started with a big bend over. Twelve o'clock. Excellent. That was so great. We learned so many poses today. We learned mouse, cat, cow, spider, flower. So, so many. So now you can stay for our rest, for our savasana in mouse pose, if you want. Or a little just side pose. This is time to rest now. This is not a nap. We're just gonna rest here for a few minutes. Then I'm gonna count down from 100 down to one, okay? Just resting. So, there's 100 sleeping sheep. Shh, shh, shh. There is 90 sleeping sheep. Shh, shh. Mamas, just take this time to like rest a little bit and meditate, breathe. There's 80 sleeping sheep. Shh, shh, shh. There's 70 sleeping sheep. Shh, shh. There's 60 sleeping sheep. Shh, shh. There's 50 sleeping sheep. There's 40 resting sheep. There's 30 resting sheep. And then there's 20 just little sheep, just breathing deeply. And there's 10 little sheep. And then there's 10. And then there's nine and eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ba, 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 ba. So let's start wiggling our toes and our hands and slowly come up to standing. Yes. And we're going to read our last little book and it goes like this star light star bright first star i see tonight i wish i might i wish i may i wish i might have the wish 
I wish tonight. Yes, look. And let's do our star pose. Look at all the yogi stars out there. And a big yogi star. Yes, look at the stars. Excellent. And let's sing our last song. My little light shines to your little light. Your little light shines to my little light. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are here every Wednesday and Friday at 10.30 a.m. And this is for children's yoga. Best for one and a half to four year olds, but we can also have all ages. That's totally great. And this is uh, being presented by Motherhood Maternity. Thank you so much for having me. If you have any ideas for yoga adventures, DM, let them know. We'd love to let, uh, try to go on a funny yoga adventure that you'd like to go on. Hope to see you on Friday. Bye.